G'day everyone, this morning I'm down the river cray fishing with Tim. Hello. <laughs> hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. Now Tim and I are going to have five nets between us, all baited with chicken frames. The river is a bit higher. We're going to be sharing the nets, but I'm going to be working these two because I'm the one with boots on. And because the river's a bit higher, I need boots on to get out there. Anyway, let's get them in. Net number one. Net number two, the same spot but a few metres out. Out a few metres further. Now I'll go and find somewhere else for net number three, four and five. There's a little bit of bush ingenuity. I don't want that string in the water, otherwise the current will just that rape, otherwise the current will just take the whole lot down. Anyway, there's the first two set. You're right. Yep. Oh, Tim's gonna throw like a pro. Perfect. Perfect. Right, net number five. This one's a bit of a wild card. I've never crayfished in this particular spot. I'm gonna frisbee it right out there as far as I can. And hope that the rope's long enough. Hope that the water's deep enough. Yeah, it seems quite deep. Oh, time will tell. This is a wild card, this one. This is the recon net. Right, it's time for the first check of the nets. It's been about 25 minutes. Are we on the board? Or are we on a snag? Or are the nets empty? We're on the board, Tim, look at that. We're on the board with a massive crayfish. It's got no eggs, yeah. but it's going to be oversized. Oh. <laughs> Imagine if that grabbed you on the finger. Oh. Should have brought my camera down and got a photo of this big one, shouldn't I? Got, got me phone. Oh, cool. Jeez, big cray. Oh look at that! There's the 12 centimetre mark. The 12 centimetre mark's about there. Yeah. It's about 135. That is an enormous crayfish. Can you just uh, shine that at me? Yeah. Just video me. I'll, I'll take a video still from it. <laughs> Right, Tim's going to put this monster cray back. It's got no eggs, but it's 15 millimetres oversize. That's a 135. Oops. Let's push it back a bit closer. Oops, we've done a somersault. Look at the size of it. How's that very first net, and we've got an absolute yeah. monster. I can imagine meat in the claw. <laughs> yeah, that's all you can do is imagine. <laughs> well, we are off to an awesome start with that dinosaur of a crayfish. What's net number two got? A snag, that's what it's got. Oh, get off. It's coming up, it's coming up. Good. Oh, we've got a little one. We've got a little one. Tiny Tim. <laughs> I'll hold that over the water upside down and he'll fall off. See ya mate. Well, two from two Tim, we off to a great start. Now I'll throw that a bit further this time because that was snagged then. Timmy's gonna catch, hey, what you've got to call, when you pull it up you've got to say how many's in it. Because yep. if I'm gonna look like a clown you've got to as well. <laughs> okay, what's the call? Uh, three. Three, is it heavy is it? Yep. Tim says there's three in the net. Mm. Not quite three. There's only three short. I'll say one in this. You haven't even put it up yet. One. Oh, Tim's under a lot of strain. It looks heavy, it looks heavy. That's why. Oh, it's got a nice cray in it. Oh, you might have yourself a legal cray. Yep. It's hard to know whether he's under... I don't think it's going to... He's going to... You want to measure it with the bait bomb tape measurer? Yep, tape, sure can. The bait bomb Murray cray measurer. Yeah. Don't get, don't get bitten. That's my job. 
Yeah, he's too... He's, he's in. Yeah, he's in. He's in. He's in, but he's only in by a few millimetres. Yeah, he's in. Well, how about you? Well, if you want to hold on, if you want to hang on to it, you can. Yeah, yeah I'll hang on. And if we get a bigger one, we can put it back later and up. Yeah, we can upgrade. Upgrades. Exactly. Going for an upgrade. Hold him up, Tim. Make sure it's got no eggs. No. Beauty. Tim's on the board with a taker homer. -er. I've just had a second measure just to be on the safe side, and it's definitely in by about three mil. It actually looks small after that big kahuna yeah. in the other net, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. My monster dwarfed it. <laughs> We're on our way to check net number five, but look at this. That's the mandatory time-lapse camera. I just have to hope that a bird doesn't land on that twig and make the footage all wobbly. Righto, the wild card net. This could go either way. It actually does not feel heavy. I'm almost convinced it's empty, and it is. But that's not going to stop me from trying. Put it straight back out. Now while we wait for the nets to catch some more crayfish, I'm going to go for a walk and be creative. six or seven degrees and I kid you not I found another snake I can't believe it look at that it wouldn't be ten degrees wow that is super cool right folks I'm back from my photography and snake hunting adventure and it's time to check the nets now Tim, who has in internet service down here, and I don't because I'm with Optus, Tim tells me that the Elders Weather website, was it Elders? Um, no, it's just the normal uh, weather app. Well, the normal weather app says the temperature in Wangaratta at the moment is 8.5 degrees. That snake was a surprise. Righto, here we go. Not empty, I reckon. Yep, I was right. First one, no good. Just because they're all in this other net. You watch this, there's gonna be four in here. Gonna get the quad, the quadrilla, and no snags. That's all a snag. It's running up against the snag, and whoa! Holy. I've got an undersize and an oversize. Holy. I wonder if that's the same one we caught before. Yeah. There's no way of knowing if anything, I reckon it looks bigger. Oh, definitely. <laughs> the last one was about, what did I say, about 135. Yep. Yeah, it could be the same crate. It's the same size. Has it got it? No, this one's got eggs. Oh, the other one didn't have eggs. The big. other one didn't have eggs. Look at the size of that. Oh, yeah, you pick it up. It's... Oh, my God. It's heavy, isn't it? Yeah. Wow, yeah, she's they're, beautiful. There's some decent claws. <laughs> yeah, don't stick your finger in them. <laughs> They've got to protect those eggs. Yep. We'll get her back in. Actually, I'll put her up here, Tim, on the shallow water. I'll put her down here for an old grabber if you like. Oh, that'll do. Yep. Yep. I was going to sit her up here and oh, just watch yep. her crawl off the ledge. <laughs> awesome. Now, we've got another one to deal with. Well, this one's undersized. Well, this is the undersized one. We'll put it back over here. We can see it wander off. Oh, look at it. It's tumbling. It's upright. Away it goes. Down to the depths. Cool. I've just gone and picked up Tim. I'm going to show him this big snake. I reckon it's still going to be there. 
Go and give it a kiss, Tim. <laughs> is it alive, mate? Yeah, it's alive. It's just very cold. It's just very cold. It's very much alive. I see his tongue move. Yeah, I see the tongue, yeah. Probably find it. I reckon it probably just lives under that bark. Yep. And then in the morning when the sun comes in, it lays in the sun. And then it's ready, it'll just curl up and go back under that bark. Right, oh, Tim's going for his bag. And then he's going for an upgrade. Two in it, you reckon? You were only three out last time. You're two out this time. Is this net's not doing real well, is it? No. See if the other one's got one in it. Bit surprised by this net. Oh god. Heavy? Yep. Tim says it's super heavy. I reckon one in this one. One? None again. What's the go with these nets? There's got to be one in this. We're going to catch one in this net. Yeah, got to be at least one. Yeah, I can't not have a crane in it. Heavy? Yeah, it like it. If it's heavy, there'll be one in it because it's not a very heavy net, this one. Yeah! I knew it! I knew it! And it's a good one. I think it might nearly be oversized again. Mm -hmm. I knew it. I wasn't yeah. going to give up on this net, even if no. there was nothing here now. I think um, it's got eggs, is it? Yep. yep. I'll just quickly put that there for a quick measure, just to get a, an idea. Yep. Right. Oh yeah, even if it didn't have eggs, it's oversized. Probably about 125, 128. Yep. That is awesome! <laughs> That's super cool. Just put her in down here if you like. Yep. Face of the border. Whoops. Whoops. She's fine. They curl, that's why they curl their tail up with the eggs. It yeah, protects yeah. the eggs from anything like that. She's going to be fine. Yeah. Having fun? Always. I'm having a blast. Big crayfish, small crayfish, egged crayfish. Midwinter snakes at eight degrees. Loving it. Well, I've made the executive decision. We're going to pull the nets out now and then go downstream to where I hit the jackpot yesterday on opening day. This means I've got to cut my time lapse short. Anyway, let's go around them here for the last time and then put them in somewhere else. Righto, here we go. And, nah, it doesn't feel like, oh, one, it's got one. Ha <laughs> yeah, ha, that's a good call, it might be a second legal one. Yeah, I hope so. Might be a partner for the one in the bucket. It's got no eggs, that's a start. Yeah. That's excellent. It is, it's comfortably legal. Legal? Yep. Beauty, it's about 104, 105. Now, Tim, all yours. Sweet. Tim has bagged out. <laughs> awesome. All right, Tim's got his bag limit, two crays. I'm not keeping any today. I'm just steady having fun. And there's always room to upgrade. So if we get a, a bigger legal one, Tim can put one back and replace it with a better one. Right, there's one in here, I reckon. Maybe two. It's a bit heavy. <laughs> Must have been coming up against the current. Now, I checked this the first time and it had nothing. Tim checked it the second time and it had a monster. Can I catch up to Tim? What's the call? I no, nothing. It's too light. There's nothing in it. Yes, there is. <laughs> <laughs> one, it's a clock. It's got one big hand and one little hand. The little hand's broken and the big hand's pointing at the meat. <laughs> yeah, I called it wrong as I always do. I said there was none, but there was one. Have a look at it. Battle scarred things, aren't they? You gotta love them. <laughs> Gone! I'm going to say two. Two? This net hasn't caught a cray all day. Do you reckon there's one in it? Uh, no. Hmm, very interesting. Yeah. And this one's only caught one, I think, hasn't it? Yeah. I'm going to say, oh God! Heavy? Yep. Tim says it's heavy, that's a good sign. That's tangled and it's got a cray. It's got a little cray and a tangle. 
tangled nets always feel heavier. What a beautiful specimen of a crow. Look how clean it is. Yeah. Undersized and it's going back, but it's just a really nice clean specimen. Awesome. Well folks, Tim and I are having a blast, but before we go, we've decided to try somewhere else. I'm going to put a couple of nets in here. I have tried crayfishing just over there in the past and done no good. So I'm going to try here again anyway, and I'm hoping to, hoping to put a couple of nets in where I done really well yesterday morning for opening. Net number one. I've made these ropes, these nets with really long ropes, especially for this purpose. Right on, net number two. Ooh, dodgy underfoot here, I've just got to be a bit careful out there I brought Tim down to the super spot where I had an absolutely awesome cray opening I reckon Tim you want to just throw it out there to the right as far as you can out in front of that tree there yep. <laughs> yeah, I was standing on the rope we better try that again that was such a good throw, you threw it like a professional Take two. Perfection. This is another spot that I've done quite well on opening yesterday morning. Great throw. I reckon we'll make this the last soak. What do you reckon? Leave them in for a good 45 minutes or more. Yep. And we're going to make this one count. Right, it's time for Tim and I to go around the nets for the last time. I'm going to check these two. Tim can check the other three. I've never caught a crayfish on this bend. I've tried numerous times and I've never done it. And I don't think there's anything in this. It doesn't feel very heavy. No. Still nothing on this bend. The crayless bend. Bit of a daredevil manoeuvre going on here. Can I catch me first ever crayfish from this bend? Without falling in. What's the call? One little one. Yes! There are crayfish on this bend! <laughs> it's a big cray. A big cray. A big cray. It's not really. It's actually not even legal size. It's undersize. I just haven't said that for ages on my channel. Good cray. Good cray. <laughs> oh mate, get your last two spikes off. Right. <laughs> He's undersized. I'd have guessed I reckon that'd be about 90. There was a time when the minimum size was 90 mil from the right of their tail, and there was no maximum size. But that wasn't sustainable. So now we have a maximum size to protect the big ones from to keep them spawning, and a minimum size to prevent over harvest. And I like it. See you later, mate. Right, it's time to check the super net. This is the net that had heaps in it yesterday, but Tim, who did we just bump into? Fisheries. Victorian fisheries. They measured Tim's two crayfish and they were both about ten and a half. We were all good to go. Wonderful guy. And it's just great to see fisheries out working the beat. And it's a good reminder for everybody to make sure that you do the right thing. Super heavy? Yeah. Tim says it's super heavy. Super heavy with us. And I've got no idea why. Because there's absolutely nothing in it. That's disappointing because this was the hottest spot of the day yesterday. How does this sound, Tim? You check this one. Yep. If there's nothing in it, you can check that one. Yep. But if you catch something good in here, then I get to check the last net. Yep. One thing's for sure, you're not going to catch any less than you did in that other net. Now these are light, these nets, so if that's heavy, it's probably got something in it. Tim's not saying anything, he's a bit scared after last time. Nothing. Nothing. The last hurrah. You've got to make the call, Tim. You've got to do it. Uh, I'd say two. You haven't even started pulling in. Oh, no. Still reckon two? Oh. Is it heavy? Yeah. Tim says it's heavy. No. Ha ha! One.
One last crayfish. Well folks, that's all for this video. Robbie said to say thank you very much for watching and thank you to Tim for coming along. I hope you enjoyed this video of Robbie's and I'll see you all next time when I'm about five centimetres longer. <laughs> now that the, the crayfish filmed the closing scene for me. <laughs>